Lord, open my lips. And my mouth will Let us 
give my hunger, never shall be entered my prayers. Of God, the God of 
of my joy, my Redeemer and the Sanctum of the Lord, O God my God. Why are you cast out my soul? Why are you living in me? Hoping that I will praise Him still, my Savior and my God. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen.
Jesus Christ, I am your God. Do you repair vows? You will hear our prayer. reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. I will pour out on the house of David and on the inhabitants of Jerusalem a spirit of grace and petition, and they shall look on him whom they have thrust through, and they shall mourn for him as one mourns for an only son, and they shall grieve over him as one grieves over a firstborn. On that day, the morning in Jerusalem shall be great. The word of the Lord. Be to
our Savior, who redeemed us by his death and resurrection. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. You went up to Jerusalem to suffer, and so enter into your glory. Bring your church to the Passover feast of heaven. Lord, have mercy on us. You were lifted high on the cross and pierced by the soldier's lance. Heal our wounds. Lord, have mercy on us. You made the cross as the tree of life. Give its fruit to those reborn in baptism. Lord, have mercy on us. On the cross, you forgave the repentant thief. Forgive us our sins. Lord, have mercy on us. Have mercy on us, Lord, and hear us as we humbly pray.
Father, may we receive your forgiveness and mercy as we celebrate the passion and death of the Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Good morning. We include in our prayers the, peop the people of Ukraine. We include in our prayers the peace for the people of Ukraine, Russia, Israel, Palestine, and other parts of the world. All the benefactors of our community and all who ask for our prayers. All those who celebrate their birthday today, especially Dr. Ryan Raniel Abari, Alfred Lyndon Berbano, Rowa Jane Levante, and Marvin Miles Gadar. For all the sick, especially Bishop Teodoro Bacani, Dom Clement Maria Roque Ovesby, Father Paul De Vera Ovesby, Abbot Eduardo Africa Ovesby, S.J. and Lily Abengosa, Romualdo Palomino III, Nestor Camacho, Emma Reposar, Grace Gerson, Lisa De Los Santos, Rodolfo Rodel De Leon, Robert Guevara, Normandy Anareta Sankap, Josefina Austria, and Sofia De Vera. For all the dead, especially Bernard Lagazon, Angel Delantar, Shoni Garcia, Kaylee Alvarado, Owen Francia, Teofilo and Dionisio Batarina, Samuel Mariano, and all the souls in purgatory. Let us practice our responsorial psalm. My lips will tell of your help. My lips will tell of your help. Hymn is on page 90. Please stand. Seeds. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters in Christ, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant us so to celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's Passion that we may merit to receive your pardon. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear me, O islands. Listen, O distant peoples. The Lord called me from birth. From my mother's womb, he gave me my name. He made of me a sharp-edged sword and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver, he hid me. You are my servant, he said to me, Israel, through whom I show my glory. Though I thought I had toiled in vain and for nothing, uselessly spent my strength. Yet my reward is with the Lord. My recompense is with my God. For now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob, and to restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My lips will tell of your care. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. O oh my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked.
For you are my hope, O Lord, my trust, O God, from my youth. On you I depend from birth. From my mother's womb you are my strength. My mouth shall declare your justice, day by day your salvation. O God, you have taught me from my youth, until the present I proclaim your wondrous deeds. My lips will tell of your hand. to the Father, you were led to your crucifixion like a gentle lamb to the slaughter. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Reclining at table with his disciples, Jesus was deeply troubled and testified, Amen, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another at a loss as to whom he meant. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining at Jesus' side. So Simon Peter nodded to him to find out whom he meant. He leaned back against Jesus' chest and said to him, Master, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I hand the morsel after I have dipped it. So he dipped the morsel and took it and handed it to Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot. After Judas took the morsel, Satan entered him. So Jesus said to him, what, are, what you are going to do, do quickly. Now, none of those reclining at table realized why he said this to him. Some thought that since Judas kept the money bag, Jesus had told him, buy what we need for the feast, or to give something to the poor. So, G so Judas took the morsel and left at once, and it was night. When he had left, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and he will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. You will look for me, and as I told the Jews, where I go, you cannot come. So now I say it to you. Simon Peter said to him, Master, where are you going? Jesus answered him, Where I am going, you cannot follow me now, though you will follow later. Peter said to him, Master, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Will you lay down your life for me? Amen, amen, I say to you, the cock will not crow before you deny me three times. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Given the second song of the servant, he says, 
though I thought I had toiled in vain. For nothing uselessly spent my strength, yet my reward is with the Lord, my recompense with my God. This predictive text goes to the very core of the heart of Jesus as we approach him now on the evening before he died. It was what we would call our Holy Thursday Last Supper celebration where we have quite a long discourse along pamamaalam kind of saying goodbye by his by the master to his disciples in the midst of this saying goodbye as I said in the first reading he felt probably very sad because two persons will make a move one to betray the other to deny in our gospels Judas is always given this next line, the one who betrayed him. Interestingly, Judas does not belong to the Galilean group of the disciples, all 11 hail from the northern side of Palestine. He is Ish. Kiryot, the man from Kiryot, in the southern side of the Judean desert. And um, he may seem to be an odd person, being not of that group called Galileans, but definitely he handled the wealth the little money of the group he was trusted he was given a certain greater consideration of loyalty fidelity he was supposed to be a trustworthy person and yet he betrayed the Christ with 30 silver pieces. That will be tomorrow. But the other called Simon Peter would vehemently deny in this Last Supper scene that he would ever, he would ever leave his master. He would lay down his life, in fact, because if there are those of his companions not willing to follow, he will be different. He will follow. But in the end, he could not commit the true discipleship. So we are here in our second of what we would call the three days of Judas. And in spite of the gift of the Eucharist, in spite of the act of servitude by washing the feet, and in spite of many other events that these disciples saw and he said there are so many who wished that they would have seen and heard 
what you have heard and seen, despite all that, the Lord Jesus is betrayed, is denied relationship. This is definitely what Jesus experienced and humanity finds out that after all, there's only God, the faithful one. The one sure fidelity that we could rely on is God himself. If you are faithful, I will be faithful. If you are not faithful, I will remain faithful because I cannot deny myself. So this day, we may want to dwell on the incalculable fidelity and loyalty of God. While we could look at our own fragility, at our own failures, at our betrayals and denials, the liturgy asks of us to look at Christ, the faithful Son of the Father, so that at least some sense of that fidelity even to accepting death on a cross may become our own form of growth in our life until we too will have to obey the Father on the point of our own hour which is intended to be the glory of God. Let us humbly present our petitions before our Lord, always remembering the suffering He endured in order to make salvation possible for us. Let us humbly pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that those who feel betrayed by friends may avoid bitterness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer that sinners may not be discouraged, but seek forgiveness and the sacrament of reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who suffer may find the strength to bear their burdens. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That the sick may unite their sufferings with Christ and be filled with inner peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that the dead may be given a place in the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. God, our Father, in your wisdom, you permitted your only Son to suffer for us. Through the Spirit, draw us closer to you, that we may express our devout gratitude. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Page 95. Oh Lord, you know our weakness brought on by Adam's fall. Yes. 
sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all this holy church. Look favorably O Lord we pray on these offerings of your family and to those you make partakers of his sacred gifts grant a share in their fullness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise, as we acclaim. sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. and drink this cup, will be broken in your death, O Lord, until you fall again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Remember especially Abbot Andy, Father Basil, and Father Pio. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Benedict, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare, we dare to pray. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be here. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you.
Our final hymn is on page 99. Please stand. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by the same sacrament with which you have fed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please bow for the blessing. May your mercy, O God, cleanse the people that are subject to you from all seduction of former ways and make them capable of new holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Sweetie,